Hello once again guys, I hope you're all good and welcome back to another video. We've got a pretty massive top 10 to go through today and this is literally the top 10 bargains in the entire game. That's right, out of every single player in the database, who makes the top 10? Remember, potential first season ratings, wages and inquiry price is how this is all judged. And if I've missed someone out, bear in mind they might not be available for transfer in the first season or they might be loaned out. So we begin with the Turkish striker who since early February has had a massive upgrade to his potential. I'm sorry beforehand for the pronunciation, but it's Kubilay Kanastiskus. He's 19 years old, 6 foot 3 and starts off as a 69 rated striker. 76 strength, 71 stamina, 71 heading accuracy, 69 ball control, 69 shot power and 68 composure. Medium, medium, 3 star, 2 star and a big potential of 85. Incredibly cheap for what sort of finisher he'll turn into. An inquiry price of 3.3 million and only on 6,100 a week, which starts this countdown off nicely. Next up is the unbelievably good Danish prodigy playing for Ajax, it's Kasper Dolberg. One of the best money for value striker options in the entire game, just 18 years old, 6 foot 2 and 75 rated. He's already so close to the finished article. 85 shot power, 79 strength, 78 sprint speed, 78 ball control, 77 long shots and 75 finishing. This guy is literally one of the most complete forwards on offer to you, so don't miss out on him while his price is at 11 million and wages are at 8.8 thousand a week because he's destined for a huge club in the future. Coming in 8th is the one and only goalkeeper of today, Thomas de Dillon of FC Mets. 20 years of age, 6 foot 4 and 72 rated. Absolutely perfect to go straight into a championship level side. And with that overpowered goalkeeper training, he'll reach 80 rated in no time. Two star week for and a major potential of 85. 5.5 million is how much he's going to be costing you. And 6,100 a week is all you'll be paying for his loyalty. In seventh is Henry Onyekuru, one of Nigeria's brightest prospects. And Nigeria have quite a few this year. 19 years old, left mid 5 foot 9, 70 rated, 86 sprint speed, 85 agility, 84 acceleration, 78 balance, 76 dribbling and 74 jumping. High high work rates, 4 star, 2 star and a grand potential of 85. A future star in the making and he's literally only going to cost 3.9 million and 4,600 a week. Our next player is literally the best money for value left midfielder in the entire game. Matthias Pereira of Sporting, an unbelievably good long-term investment for any club that can afford his fee. 20 years old, 74 rated, 88 balance, 86 acceleration, 84 sprint speed and 83 agility. High medium, 3 star, 4 star and of course a top class potential of 86 to reach. His inquiry price is 6.5 million but you could easily get him for cheaper and his wages are a joke at 8.9 grand a week. Coming in at the halfway point is a Chilean. Playing in centre midfield, it's Pablo Gordemeyes, a very Kante-esque player to raise up for any low-rated team. 86 stamina, 85 interceptions, 82 agility, 81 balance, 77 acceleration and 74 short passing. High high work rates, 4 star, 4 star, which is pretty unique as a centre midfielder and matches the standard of high potentials with his own at 85. 6 million is a very good asking price for this future box to box master and he's got the second lowest wages of this entire countdown with his 2200 a week contract. Just behind the top 3 is a player who only just added into the game in the early part of February, David Neres of Ajax. An incredible little bargain to add to your attacking arsenal. Still a teenager, 5 for 10 and with upcoming speed, high end dribbling and 4 star skills. The basics you'd want from your young wingers. And an 85 potential isn't going to hurt either. He's cheap as anything, coming in at 4.3 million and his wages, again very cheap at 6,000. 300 a week. Making it into the bronze medal position is a player who's been a major bargain for a couple of years now. It's Ruben Neves, the centre defensive midfielder for FC Porto. 19 years old, 5 foot 11, 75 rated and already an extremely well completed player. 
medium, medium, three star, three star, and a potential of 85. So if you need a good value CDM, then you'll need 7 million and 7,400 a week to get him in. Second is the young Dutch centre back who has been a phenomenal purchase since FIFA 17 was released. Matthijs De Ligt. Just another incredible hidden gem in the game. Just 16 years old and 66 rated and standing at 6 foot. 75 strength, 72 jumping and 71 short passing are his highlights. But he's got the minerals to become a world class defender. Medium, medium, 4 star, 2 star and a potential of 85 to climb to. He'll cost a very reasonable sum of 1.6 million and his wages are 1,275 a week. This guy is unbelievable. But getting the number one spot in this one is. He's been an absolutely incredible prospect since FIFA 17 was released. His position has changed, but because of recent updates to his potential. Ladies and gentlemen, the best bargain you could buy in FIFA 17 after the January transfer window update is. It's Monaco's Kylian Mbappe Lottin. 17 years old, 71 rated, 5 foot 10. 87 sprint speed, 85 acceleration, 79 dribbling, 77 ball control, 75 attack positioning and 74 vision. High medium, full star, 3 star and astounding potential of 89. Literally the best young player to invest your money in. And even then, you're not going to be investing a lot because you can easily pick this guy up for less than 5 million and just 17,000 a week. So that's it. That's the top 10 best bargains in the FIFA 17 database. Do you think I missed anyone out? Or do you think someone in there didn't deserve to be? Let me know, but that's me done for now. If you like the video, be sure to let me know by pressing that like button. Stay subscribed for plenty more top 10s, 20s, 25s and other career mode videos. And I'm Braze for Impact and thanks for watching.